Leaders in medicine study patient safety. Absolutely critical. You can have the best intentions, but errors can occur. And one of the ways that you prevent errors is to learn from the errors of others. What we need to do is get rid of the culture of shame and blame and go to the cause of why the error occurred. We have found out that it's not the individual in the overwhelming majority of cases that is the problem. So firing the individual doesn't solve the problem. The problem is the system. Let me give you an example. In the operating room, you have, in the old days, you could accidentally connect the oxygen line to the anesthesia line and give the patient in error anesthesia rather than oxygen when it was time to give the oxygen. The simple fix is to change the connectors. So if you have a square connector on one end, it's got to hook to a square connector on the other end. And even someone who's very exhausted, maybe not too bright that day, will realize after a few hits that this square thing doesn't go in the round hole. And so that's the fix. So in addition to the Joint Commission, in addition to going to the, the doctor's company website, you look at the uh, PDR network, and that gives you FDA alerts and other important information. This is some breaking news about some medication. Those are things that a leader would be tuned into.